we're going to uh, work on our bow holes today and this is the, for the violin or the viola it doesn't matter if you're a viola player or a violin player it's the same bow hold okay so first of all let's take our right hand give me a wave and we're going to curve our fingers round and make it into a bunny rabbit shape so to make our bunny rabbit we're going to bend our thumb and take it into the middle of our hand like you were going to do like a brownie promise or a skype promise and we're going to bend our thumb our middle fingers are going to come over the top and come over the nail not on the nail but just over the nail to make our circle our face and then we've got our two ears sticking up at the sides so when we put it on our bow we can either put it on our bow in the middle before the lapping or we can put it in the normal place first of all I think what we'll do is we'll go into the middle of the bow because it's lighter and there's a little rhyme to help you remember what to do so we're going to bend our thumb we're going to put our teeth over the top we're going to have one ear down and then we're going to have the other ear on top and let go and just see if, what it feels like to hold the bow grab hold of your bow again take your hand off and shake it out we're going to do it again but this is a wee rhyme to help you remember what to do so it's the, to the song of twinkle twinkle little star bend your thumb then fingers over top one finger down and the other on top let go of your left hand let's see how it feels it should feel quite light here now we're going to go all the way down just before the lapping like that silver bit or you might have like a zebra print um, so let's do our rhyme again bend your thumb then fingers over top one finger down and the other on top then see if you can let go with your left hand and hold it now does it feel heavy or does it feel lighter I think it feels heavier here now what we're going to do hold on to your bow with your left hand again and we're going to do it right down at the bottom so we're going to bend our thumb and we're going to put it just before the frog's mouth and just before the lapping so this little bit here there's a wee bit of wood and that's where we're going to put our thumb we're going to try and put our thumb on its side so just that little bit of the your thumb just at the side and we're going to bend your thumb then fingers over top one finger down and the other on top let go with your left hand and see how we get on so that's how you hold your bow let's put our bow up the way and we're also going to put our bow to the other side and we're going to do some exercises to help and strengthen our bow hold so we're going to first of all practice bending our thumb so we're going to take all our fingers off apart from that first finger you can take all your fingers off apart from the first finger and your thumb and what we're going to do is we're going to do some push-ups and push-ups are just tiny wee small movements of going up and down just to strengthen that thumb so it gets used to being bent because it doesn't feel quite normal especially if you've never played with the bow before or sometimes some people have straight thumbs and if you're not used to that it just takes a wee while just to get used to having your thumb which is bent okay so that's our push-ups we're going to put our bow the other way back to normal and we're going to do some tapping so what I recommend you do is grab hold of your bow with your left hand so you've got a grip of it and we're going to tap first finger and then we're going to tap our middle fingers making sure our thumb's still bent can you see that my thumb's still bent and then our pinky on top and we're going to do that again tap your first finger tap your middle fingers and tap your pinky good now what we're going to do is we're going to do some stirring the pot so this little exercise is we hold our bow at the bottom or you can hold it just after the lapping or you can hold it up in the middle bit whatever you like I'm going to hold my bow right down at the bottom at the moment just so we get used to the heaviness of it and we're going to stir the pot we use circle motions 
we're going to use our whole arm for this, not just the wrist, we're going to use our whole arm and including our wrist. Our wrist comes round as well and we're going to put something in our cauldron or our soup. I'm going to make some soup so I'm going to put some carrots in. What are you going to put in your soup? I'm also going to put some chicken in I think. What are you going to put in your soup? Then change direction. I think I shall put also in some rice into my soup. I like chicken soup. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to just for a bit of fun turn your bowl over the other way and stir it this way. And then stir it the other way. Okay, so that's enough of stirring the pot. Let's do some windscreen wipers. I want you to pretend it's raining outside and you're in your car and your car windscreen wipers are going. So we're going to rotate our wrist, keep our lovely bend thumb, fingers over the top, one finger down and pinky on top. And we're going to rotate our wrist back and forth like this to strengthen that wrist up as well. It takes a long time to learn that bow hold. It's taken me years. Okay, so that's one windscreen wiper. We're going to do bus windscreen wipers now. So the bus ones, you can either have pretend you've got two windscreen wipers and you're going back and forward, up and down like this, or you can just do one up and down. So like pretend you're maybe on a trampoline and you're going jumping up and down. Or you can pretend you're on a bus watching the windscreen wipers. And we'll do one more. And then what we'll do, the last one is called the lights windscreen wipers. Now, if you've ever been in a Volvo or seen a Volvo, the old ones in particular used to have these tiny wee windscreen wipers on their lights. And we're going to recreate that. So we're going to keep our bow hold and we're going to just use the weight of our pinky to push it down and then we're going to release it and then we're going to put the weight onto our first finger. So your thumb is acting like a bit like a seesaw, in the middle of a seesaw and you're going to very very small movements, put weight on your pinky and then release, weight on the pinky, release, weight, release, weight, release, weight, release. Do two more because it's quite hard. And the last thing we're going to do, shake your hand out, wiggle your fingers, cast some spells, or have some fireworks, shake your hand out. We're going to do a little exercise called spiders. Now, for spiders, we want to pretend our hand is the spider and this is our pipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to crawl up the pipe. Now, you don't have to keep your thumb bent here. You can just crawl up without keeping your thumb bent. We're going to crawl up the bow. Now, I don't want to see any cheating going on. I want you to see, I want to see crawling up the bow. And then once you get to the top, I want you to crawl back down again. Now, I to do it easier. Well, I find it easier to do my thumb first and then wiggle my fingers. Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. And if you think you're going to drop it, you can keep your hand down at the bottom just so it's there, just in case. I'm sure you won't drop it though, but just in case you feel uh, uneasy, you can put your hand down the bottom. And once we get down to the bottom, we're going to put our bow on our launch pad and we're just gonna check finally, our thumbs bent, fingers are over the top, first finger down and then our pinky on top. And that is how you hold your bow.